Commerce City schools and police are looking for answers. Yesterday, students found racial slurs on a boy's bathroom wall and a list of people to eliminate. Fox Five's Laura Neal is live from the high school tonight with more from concerned parents. Laura, what are they telling? Well, seven students' names were found on that bathroom wall, and the parents we spoke to say they should have been notified yesterday when it happened, not early this morning. I don't even think nobody talked to her yesterday. I wasn't notified from the school until this morning. Tanya Dorsey says her daughter is one of the seven students on that list. This list captured and passed around on social media. We blurred out the names and the racial slurs used. School officials say they learned about the graffiti at around 2.30 Wednesday afternoon and had it removed. They contacted parents of the kids named the next morning. What our policy is is within 24 hours, and so that's why we contacted the parents first thing this morning mm -hmm. because we like to look Look at what has happened and investigate before just having a knee jerk reaction and causing parents to be upset when they really don't need to be upset. Andrea Brown's son was also on that list. Brown says he was afraid to go to school Thursday morning, but went so he could prepare for exams. But if they knew yesterday, we should have known yesterday. It shouldn't have waited till it hit social media and got shared a hundred times for somebody to take action. These parents were contacted. Then Superintendent Dr. Joy Tolbert posted this statement about what happened on the district's Facebook group. Dr. Tolbert says the administration was shocked by the incident and they are working to inform parents and to keep students safe. We also talked to the students whose names were listed just to make sure that they felt comfortable at school today. And so they were all very fine. And but the parents we spoke to all say they wish they were contacted the day it happened, and they hope the person responsible is identified as quickly as possible so that their children can feel safe at school. I feel like if this student was bold enough to write this, who's to say he doesn't have a plan to carry it out?